They didn't give me enough time to preach it. <laughs> Amen. <coughs> so why don't you see if I'm already to the Salam and Tosu Parfa, find you for more more. Thank you to your coach. Amen. 
Thank you to your Sunday school teacher, and your uh, pastor, uh, pastor staff. But most of all, your Lord, I don't remember you. Of time, of time, of time. I will bless the Lord at all times. Uh, his praises shall be continually be on my mouth. Amen. But if we read this verse, that, that I will bless the Lord. Uh, at this, uh, in this translation, it says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will speak, uh, constantly speak His praises. But in another translation, it says, I will bless the Lord. And I, uh, I mentioned it in the past. That, uh, I had a hard time in this verse. The reason for it is, uh, is this. I will bless the Lord. Uh, I have a thought saying, what am I going to bless the Lord with? He should be blessing me. Amen? Praise the Lord. I will look for parenting life on my translation of bless. But this is translation is praise. But the man I hear in the first time, first time I say, okay, first time. Amen. So it's, it's, it's one of those things. I will only five times a year. Yes, I will. I will constantly praise you and give you thanksgiving every day. Uh, it says, uh, Your praises shall continually be in my mouth. So, in other words, yeah, for us that uh, learn Hebrew this afternoon, the very first I will bless is called Parak. Okay, what is Parak stands for now? For those of you taking in notice Sunday school, Parak meaning. Oh, thank you very much for taking notes. That is the that Parak? Dealing with Thanksgiving. So I will deal with Thanksgiving and uh, I will bless the Lord, right? At all times, I will kneel with thanksgiving to the Lord at all times. Now, you notice the second part of the verse, he says, Tahira. Okay? Tahira. His praises, Tahira, his Tahira shall continue to be on my mouth. In my mouth. Oh. So, in other words, when we're going to look for Tahira, go back to Tahira. Tahira. Tequila. Nice. Okay. The meaning of the word uh, Tahira is to sing a song of thanksgiving. Amen? So in other words, I, I will parak, I will parak, kneel with thanksgiving. To the Lord at all times. His praises, his what? Tahira shall be continually be in my mouth. Praise the Lord. So, what does that mean? You walk around singing. Amen? Praise God. You should have a, a, a heart of thanksgiving. You pray and bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. Amen? Where you fear, fear, you're not the one. Bless it. Amen? Bless it here. So, you pray to bless it, bless it all. Sing some worship song, sing some praise. Amen? Don't sing the great song, your dog left you and left you with your, okay? You know those cowboy songs? You guys give me the look, you guys have no idea. Amen? Yeah, yeah, Pese is a Pese, a Vigia, a Vigia. The Fama do what to your yoga. Amen? You sing praises and say, God, thank you, thank you. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Amen? That everything that has, Praise what? Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm not sure which word they use over there. It's probably Tahira too. Amen. But all through this, 
sino ang mukul. Kung siyo ko maumay ganso, walang so ang mga kamay, o fapya mo, leli iyo, besu, kaya iyo lo kamay at si ganso, o sila kaya iyo, o na pitalay ang sumiyo o iyo at si ganso, inao iyo, kaya paali ang suwag so ipay so nama, walang so o, o na fapay ng leo o ganso. As Jesus continued on toward Jerusalem, he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered a village there, ten men with leprosy stood at a distance, crying out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. He looked at them and said, Go show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were clean, cleansed from their lepros of their leprosy. Well, we all know this story. Uh, uh, the story about the ten leprosy. Uh, so, they had, all of them had leprosy. It's a disease of disgrace, a disease of uh, desegregation. Once you get leprosy, they put you in a, in a place where you are an outcast. Uh, no, nobody should have contact with you because you have leprosy. Amen? And, and these people here, I mean, they were crying out to Jesus. Jesus has mercy upon us. Amen? And Jesus was very simple instruction. Go show yourself to the high priest. Amen? Now, once we change our attitude, we should have the attitude of uh, gratitude. Be grateful. Amen? Because the second half of this story here, for my so if four it's not to touch. Okay? It's a so that so one I know for my low in a year. So if I may know you, what if you got to get to my little city? Or fat on for all you in your mind? Or fat tight in that city? Or some are in for you? Or if it's a little year soon? Or fat the answer? And if I may know you, it's a little bit of food. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus, shouting, Praise God! He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this one man? And Jesus said to the man, Stand up and go, your faith has healed you. Uh, it brings us to our, our third point. The third point is, uh, once you change your attitude heart, uh, and then once you get the heart of, of grief for this, you know, have a heart of gratitude uh, uh, then you gotta know uh, who to acknowledge in this part here uh, they all got healed and the other nine didn't come back and acknowledge Jesus at least say thank you amen and the guy that came back that came to say thank you to Jesus wasn't even a Jew he was a Samaritan. We all, we all know the relationship between Samaritan and the Jews. They don't mix. These guys here, they don't, they don't mix. Amen? But here's the guy that got healed. He suddenly did his mind. I have to acknowledge the Son of God that healed me. Amen? People do good stuff to you. Your parents could do good stuff to you, not your kids. You know, you know, make your parents' heart uh, joyful. If your kids say a simple Thank you. Can I hear you? Yeah. 
I, I was saying that uh, yesterday was a, a Buenos. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Analia. Analia is uh, she made three years old yesterday. Yeah, but anyway, uh, so they were talking to Grandma, and then uh, Analia said, "Where's Grandpa?" And then uh, Grandma said, "Well, uh, he went to send you some money." I can hear them talking over the phone. And I, I heard uh, Anadia say, oh, thank you, Papa. And, well, that kind of melts my heart. Yeah. Knowing the fact that my, my granddaughter appreciate this little money I'm going to send her for her birthday. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kids, uh, you don't know what it does to a parent when they hear your kids thank you dad for going to work and putting food on the table thank you mommy for always scolding me and that thank you all thank you all and, and kids let, let me give you a, a secret okay if you want to get on the good side of your parents say thank you if you want to get on the bad side of your parents, uh, keep on complaining, keep on good boy your parents. Oh, I hate with that one, I don't like this. When are we going to get there? You're always complaining. You know what your dad wants to do with you? On the back hand, no? <laughs> Amen? Praise the Lord. Uh, go on and have my fourth time. Oh, man. Yeah, you can ask for Nike shoes, and even if your parents can't afford it, they'll find you Nike shoes. Yeah, whole bunch of Nike shoes and Salvation Army too. <laughs> but somehow they can't afford you. Amen? Because we're, we're, we're satisfied in the heart. Uh, imagine, uh, just imagine for me, I say that to the Father in heaven. What does that do to his heart? Then go for for it to a man, I just want to bless you. I'll bless you some more. Yeah, amen? And we keep on saying, thank you, thank you. Uh, I will bless the Lord. His praises will continue to be on my mouth. Amen? And I shall bless you. I will bless you some more. The more we say thank you, Man, because the color they go, yeah, yeah. If we put your love, yeah, suck up before my grandma. And you have so much that you can't even contain it. Amen? Acknowledge it. Praise the Lord. So, because some people, they, they, they don't know how to acknowledge. Okay, let me give an example, right? Life up here, I'm not going You know, I'm a real colleague. I'm a real member. And then, more than my life. Does that make sense? They give me the credit to, yes, they help. But you have to, somewhere down the line, say it was all because of God. The faith man can go away from the house and lay away from the river. Amen? Not for the gym. Praise the Lord. Amen? You have to acknowledge when you got your blessing from. If somebody do something good to you, acknowledge that person. Thank you. Thank you for buying my lunch. Thank you for praying for me. Amen? I want us to practice. Turn to your neighbor and tell them thank you. Practice. Uh, think about something to say thank you for. Thank you for... Okay. Thank you for buying me lunch at the church. Is that a fun for you?
Do we have some reason not to choose? No? Oh. <coughs> Acts 20, verse 35, and this is our conclusion. Let's read that. And I have been a constant example of how you can help those in need by working hard. You should remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Wow, praise the Lord. And I have been a constant example of how you can help those we need by working hard, right? And you should remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. It, because once you change your attitude and you have the add, uh, attitude of gratitude, uh, uh, it, 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 now you know who to acknowledge. Amen. Now God has blessed you so much, and the Bible says it's going to overflow. Right? Yeah. What do you do with the overflow? Right? And God blesses you with the overflow. Bless somebody else. It's more blessed to us. Now you come to understand. It's more blessed to give than receive. Don't be just a, a receiver or a taker. Amen? All you want to do is take, 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 take. But the word thanks, giving, the second half of the word is giving. Thanks, of time, giving, for what? Amen. Okay. Now, this coming Thursday, uh, you're going to do a Thanksgiving to service here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you just want to come here, uh, have a worship service, and then give you a chance to say your testimony or say your Thanksgiving. Amen? And bring something to uh, uh, if I don't Thanksgiving. Amen? So you, if you are thankful for uh, uh, the blessing, the money that God has blessed you with. Yeah, bring some dollar bills over here, okay? <laughs> and show us, okay, we, I get money. Okay? If, if God has blessed you with, with uh, a good job, uh, you know, maybe, maybe bring your hat and show me up. Yeah, I went at, uh, I went at the airport. Does that make sense? If I need enough of to stay out to get to a, uh, Thank you, God, for a good job. If you're thankful for your wife, uh, bring something that will uh, show your thanksgiving to your wife. Oh, okay. Are we going to do that? Oh, my mama, fam. Ule wala, oma kausaka. I don't know what I don't know what I don't so to do a yard, so we've got that in there. From time, thank you, honey. Amen. Praise the Lord. If your honey is sitting by you, turn around and say, thank you, honey. No, if that's not your honey, don't say thank you. Uh, it's not only money, it's not only, uh, but also you can see the gift. Bless others with your kabuka. 
and I pray with the needle mechanic, help somebody out and fix somebody else's car. Every time I jump off uh, um, First Lady at the Point Vini, I, every time I drive over there, I see Pegasus car. I wish I, I know how to fix them. Amen? Probably this Thanksgiving uh, is coming, yeah? You, you see where I'm coming from? Share your talent. I'm a little Kabuka. Yeah. I have a project for you at the house. So come and share your talent. I'm a brother, I'm a Sasabao or a yard. Yeah, we also have a, a yard at the house from Cut the Quest. Don't go home and cut the quest of the neighbor. I didn't go for it for you. I'm a little out of coin. 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 I'm a yeah, I thought I made a knife and I don't want to walk through the ring. But I was a ring, I put it out. Oh, thank the God. No, just pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I appreciate the men's ministry that you guys are doing a great job with the men. And I appreciate the youth. You guys are doing a great job with the youth. And so is the Sunday school. Uh, also, I appreciate the women's ministry. I guess doing a great job. Amen. In all, all the other departments, they were already they, they gave me a season of saying thank you. So, as your pastor, I say thank you very much. Amen. I pray for you. I need for you for society. Thank you for. I need you. We need you. Thank God for you. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us, Father, if we don't have a gratitude, a heart. Forgive us if we have bad attitude that we are spoiled kids that we don't say thank you to you. Forgive us, Father, if we don't see the blessing that you use our brothers and sisters to bless us, and we don't say thank you to them, Father. Thank you, God, for using them. Thank you, God, for thinking about us, that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You provide everything for us, Father. And you say in your word that if we seek your kingdom, seek your kingdom first, all these things shall be added unto us. So thank you, Father, for taking care of us. Thank you, God, for your blessings upon us. And most of all, thank you, Father, for sending your Son to die on the cross for our sins. We love you, we give you praise, we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name. And all God's children says, Amen, Amen. amen. Praise the Lord.